Developing news tonight, Charleston County School District Superintendent Dr. Jarita Postlewaite has resigned from her position. This after a special meeting was called by the district's board of trustees. News 2's Lexi Moore joins us live in studio. Lexi, you heard from CCSD board members and the man set to replace Postlewaite. Yeah, Maris, just a few hours ago, Dr. Postlewaite submitted her resignation as superintendent, and the board voted to release her from her contract effective June 30th, 2022. Now the transition process will begin in early January with interim superintendent John Kennedy stepping into the role. I move that we accept Dr. Dorito Postlewaite's resignation from her position as superintendent effective January 2nd, 2022. The power of leadership being handed over from CCSD's superintendent, Dr. Dorita Postlewaite, to CCSD's current chief financial and administrative officer, Don Kennedy. That work that's been started under Dr. Postlewaite will uh, continue. And again, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, approach now is to make sure that we understand the strategy. Dr. Postlewaite has been superintendent since 2015. And in a statement she sent in her resignation, she says in part, I have enjoyed immensely the opportunity to serve Charleston County students, personnel, parents, and the greater community over the past seven years. I'm heartened by the many accomplishments and accolades CCSD has received, and I'm especially proud of the selfless services teachers, staff, and leaders have provided during the COVID-19 pandemic. Interim Superintendent Kennedy says he plans to make sure the district prioritizes the safety of students amid the pandemic and funding for district schools. We've been, as a, as a community, as a school district, uh, I've been working at least, at least for 25 years, a quarter of a century, of trying to make sure that we have uh, great opportunities for all of our students. And we haven't been able to figure that out. The board has not yet decided who will permanently replace Postlewaite, but Kennedy says the board is wanting to make sure whoever is selected is ready to take on any obstacles that stand in the way of approving education for students in Charleston County. What are the impediments uh, that we have there uh, as a community, not just as a district, but as a community that is preventing us from making the progress that we know we all want for our children? Kennedy will assume the role on Monday, January 3rd for superintendent. Reporting live in studio, I'm Lexi Moore, Tunnel 2.